Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I thought we could do a what I got for Christmas video. Now, originally I was planning on putting this footage into one of the vlogs that will go up in January on my YouTube channel. But when it came to me looking back at the footage and things, it just didn't feel right to put it in a vlog. And I have been thinking about the content that I want to upload on my channel in the new year. And I do want to incorporate back some sit down videos onto my channel as and when I have them to film. I did talk about it a bit more in the first vlog that will go up on my channel in the new year. It may be the video that goes up after this, I'm not 100% sure. But um, yeah, I do want to incorporate back onto my channel some sit down content as and when I have it to film. Um, so I'm thinking like fashion videos and maybe talking about books as and when I have those to talk about, which obviously isn't often. My channel is still going to be mostly vlog content because that is the content that I enjoy making and it is the content that I can see myself making on a regular basis. But as and when there is something to sit down and talk about or film, I do also want to do that over here as well. So as I was saying, I originally filmed this to go into the vlog but it just didn't feel right so I am actually going to make this a dedicated what I got for Christmas video. I am not going to be showing you absolutely everything that I got for Christmas this year because number one, some of the things were edible and today is the 3rd of January as I'm filming this and those presents do not exist anymore. Those have been well loved. But also I didn't want to bombard you with a bunch of things that I got for Christmas. I just really wanted to cater this to the things that I think you will see quite a lot of on my social media in the new year. And I thought it would be nice to have a dedicated video where it's like I can't necessarily tell you where I got that thing from because I actually got it for Christmas. I know not everyone needs a disclaimer but if you do need one I am not doing this video to brag. I have been asked a few times, particularly when I was doing Vlogmas, if I was going to make one of these videos this year because I have done them in the past. I am not including everything that I got for Christmas, again I'm not saying that to brag, I just really wanted to stick to the things that I think you will see a lot of on my social media, not just my YouTube channel but my Instagram and things going forward in the new year. That is all I'm going to say in terms of a disclaimer because I know not everyone needs one. If you do need one, I will leave a full one in the description box, but if you don't, let's get on with the video. I guess the first person we should start with is Katie. Me and Katie actually exchanged Christmas presents in Vlogmas. There is an actual gift giving vlog, so you can go back and watch that if you would like. The first thing is this adorable little sausage dog. I am obsessed with sausage dogs. I go on about sausage dogs all the time. I don't really know where this obsession came from. I, I just love sausage dogs. Katie got me this one. He's actually one of those that you can put in the microwave and heat up. And I've affectionately named him Otto. Um, I just really like the name Otto. I think if I had a real sausage dog, I would call it Otto. This is Otto the sausage dog that Katie got me. Katie also got me a little handheld tripod for my vlogging camera. I have been meaning to get myself one of these for such a long time and just never got round to doing it and then Katie got me one for Christmas which I am so grateful for because it's one of those presents where it's like to Katie this probably wouldn't mean much but to me it's so useful and I will get so much use out of this. Katie also got me these socks that have dinosaurs on them. If you watch the gift giving vlog you will notice that me and Katie actually got each other a hell of a lot of dinosaur themed gifts this year and it's kind of funny to us that we're both so obsessed with dinosaurs but hey ho, dinosaurs are cool right? So she got me these adorable dinosaur socks. In relation to the dinosaur theme, this hooded blanket where the hood is actually a triceratops, which actually is my favourite dinosaur. I don't know why I like triceratops, I don't know why they're my favourite dinosaur, but they are my favourite dinosaur, I really love them. This hooded blanket has come in handy so much over the Christmas period. I can't even explain to you, even though it is like essentially a blanket with a hood. I can't even explain to you how nice and warm this blanket actually is. Like it's the perfect thickness for keeping you warm. 
I did almost lose it to Taylor. Taylor saw this and really liked it, but she agreed to share and I did actually manage to get it back. We may as well mention the gift that you can kind of see a little bit of. Katie got me this ginormous cushion and I'm actually quite thankful that she did because when I am on my laptop in bed or anything like that, I get backache, like I do. So this is really handy to prop me up properly whilst I'm like on my laptop or I'm colouring or anything like that. But the real reason that Katie got me this is because in Vlogmas, you'll have seen me and Katie went to Edinburgh for the Christmas market. I discovered Katie snored and Katie woke up in the middle of the night and she saw me and actually thought that I was dead. So Katie said that they got me this cushion because of that incident. But would just like to point out that even though Katie thought I was dead, they didn't wake me up to see if I was. The next thing that Katie got me is this adorable wall hanging decoration. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see it. It is still in the packaging because I do actually have somewhere in mind to hang this. My dad is going to make me a shelf for all of my historical fiction books and I think I'm going to hang this above that shelf because the intention is to have one long shelf for my historical fiction books because I've outgrown the one that I already have. So I'm going to hang it somewhere around that shelf. So until I have that shelf made, I am leaving this in the packaging because I really do not want to get it ruined or anything like that. The next thing that Katie got me was this collection of fabric paints. There's 24 colours in here and I did open it in the gift giving vlog. So if you want to see what the actual paints look like, then go and watch that vlog. Um, but they're these adorable little bottles and Katie knows that I am interested in doing more art and more art related things in the new year and I have mentioned fabric paint to Katie on numerous occasions so the fact that Katie got me some is really lovely and it's also really special as a gift because I think I mentioned this in the gift giving vlog but I feel like it's really nice when someone gets you a gift that to them it, it means nothing, it's not really anything that they would think of getting but they know that you would really like it. I think it's really nice when you receive gifts like that and I would say that that is one of those gifts. Katie also got me a 2023 diary and oh my god this diary is like the most stunning diary I've ever seen in my life. I have started using this so I'm going to be careful what pages I show you because there are some things wrote in here but it is literally the most stunning diary I've ever seen. You have the monthly overviews in, I almost dropped it, you have the monthly overviews in calendar form, Um, you also can find each of the months individually if we turn to one of them and each of the months has these adorable kind of cover pages with the month on and the constellations of the star signs that align with that month and then you get a place to write some notes so there's important birthdays things to buy to-do lists and notes so you can write all of the really important things that you would need to see in like an overview on there and then you get like the weekly spread and each of the days individually so you can write more things in there. There are also some note pages in the back which I have actually put my 2023 goals list and my 2023 resolutions in the back of there. And the final thing that Katie got me for Christmas this year is this colouring book by Kirby Rosanes. This is the Worlds Within Worlds colouring book and I have had my eye on Kirby Rosanes colouring books for such a long time and again it's one of those things that I've just never got around to getting for myself and Katie got me this one. I know a few people when I said oh I want colouring books for Christmas were like okay but then when they actually saw the colouring books they were like okay yeah I understand why you wanted one of those. I have been through and tabbed the colouring book of all of the pages that are kind of instantly jumping out to me. I haven't started it yet because I am just so nervous to start if I'm completely honest because the perfectionist side of me wants it to be perfect but I will get round to this now that we're in the new year. 
and I am very excited to do more colouring in the new year as well. I do feature that type of content on my art account so if you would like to see that then head on over there. The next person who we may as well move on to is my dad's partner because she got me something that kind of relates to Katie's gift and she got me a bunch of Kirby Rosin's colouring books. <laughs> So I believe this comes as like a set, like you can buy all of these together as one instead of having to buy them individually. And I mentioned these colouring books to her and I originally said like buy me one of them and then um, I saw this set and was like if you are willing to get those I would really appreciate it and she did get me them and I'm so excited for these colouring books you guys like I have been flipping through these colouring books waiting for the right moment to start them because I am so precious about them because I've had my eye on them for so long. The ones that come in the set are Phantomorphia, Geomorphia, Imagimorphia, Animorphia and Mythomorphia. I think out of this set I am most excited about Mythomorphia but I have been through all of them and tabbed all of the pages that stick out to me that I would really like to do in each of the colouring books so I am really excited to do more adult colouring in the new year and now I have some of the colouring books that I have had my eye on for such a long time. <laughs> my dad's partner's daughter got me something that I have thought about getting myself for a long time but just never really got round to it. I don't even think I ever mentioned this to her so this is just something she thought off of her own back would be a good gift for me and she was definitely correct and it is a selfie light. This will come in handy for me so much when I'm making my content in the new year because a lot of my content is made on my phone like TikToks, Instagram photos and things like that. They're all on my phone. So this will be so helpful in the new year. I have tried it out. This is what it looks like. Oh, it's, it's literally gonna be perfect. And it's so bright as well, like so, so bright. The next person is my dad. My dad actually got me a pair of shoes that I pointed out to him and was like, listen, if you're willing to get me these, I'd be really appreciative, really grateful. And he did. And not only that, but he agreed to get me them early because I wanted to take them on my trip to Edinburgh with Katie. And they are this pair of Doc Martin shoes. I've really been into shoes more lately. I don't know what it is, but I've just really been into them and I've had my eye on this pair of Doc Martens for such a long time and I pointed them out to my dad. He very kindly agreed to get them for me for Christmas. I think I've worn them like every day since. <laughs> like I'm not even kidding. I think I've worn them like every day since. My dad has bought me varying pairs of Doc Martens over the years and I think I still have all of them apart from one. The first pair of Doc Martin boots my dad bought me, I outgrew, they just got too small for me. So I gave them to my sister. All of my other pairs I still have, I still own them, I still wear them. And I think with something like Doc Martens, yeah they are pricey but you're definitely getting your money's worth. So I'm very very thankful to my dad for getting me these and same as I said I've worn them like <laughs> every day since. And the final person who I'm going to show you some presents from in this video is actually my nanan and I'm going to show you two of the things that my nanan got me this year for Christmas. My nanan goes for cozy gifts which I really really appreciate. She did actually get me some socks because honestly I'm at that age now where socks are a really good gift. Like I appreciate socks so much. So she got me a pack of socks because I mentioned to her that I really needed some. And then she also got me a pack of bed socks on the flip side of that because same as I said, she does cozy gifts. I don't have them here with me, but um, yeah, they're just a nice pair of bed socks. In fact, you get three pairs. I think it was pink, blue and green and they are the softest bed socks I've ever owned, I think. Following on from the bed socks though, she actually got me this pair of pyjamas and I love pyjamas as a gift. I also love when my nanan buys me pyjamas as a gift. I don't know what it is about my nanan buying me pyjamas, but 
I just love when she does it. And this year she got me this pair of pyjamas. I actually prefer bottoms that have like the elasticated bottom and that's what these are. Now the print on them is actually the 12 days of Christmas um, with little illustrations and I just think that's so cute. But they're not obviously Christmassy if you get what I mean. So like I could wear these all year round and I don't think people would instantly jump on oh she's wearing Christmas pyjamas. Not that that's ever stopped me before. If you watch the vlogs, you'll know that I wear my Christmas pyjamas all year round. I really don't care. But yeah, she got me this pair of pyjamas this year and even though they are Christmassy, they're not obviously Christmassy, I don't think. But even still, I will wear them all year round. And the final gift that I'm going to show you in this video is also from my Nanan. And I pointed this out to my Nanan and I was like... I would really like this, like I've been thinking of buying it for myself for such a long time but if you want to get it me for Christmas, that's fine with me and she did actually get it me. So it is this gorgeous chunky cardigan from the brand Daisy Street. I saw this on ASOS um, and I pointed it out to my nana and she got it me. It's in this gorgeous pink and green check pattern and I actually wore this on Christmas Day, I believe, when I went to my auntie's. The funny thing is, I had this on. Um, and even though it's not Christmassy, I was like, I'm going to wear it on Christmas Day because I've been anticipating this cardigan for a long time and would really like to wear it. So I wore it on Christmas Day. I wore it to my auntie's house. And my auntie and my auntie's mum both said the same thing. They were both like, oh, your cardigan is really lovely. And I was like, oh, thank you. My nana got it me for Christmas. And both of them said, it's very you. And if that's not the compliment of all compliments, then I don't know what is. And I have actually been thinking about the fact that in 2022, I felt like I kind of lost the quirky side of me in terms of like my fashion. Some of you may remember the dyed hair and all of that kind of stuff. And I feel like I do miss that side of me and I do kind of want to bring it back in the new year and this cardigan just confirms it like when they said to me that's such a you thing I was like yeah I feel really good about it so and my mum also complimented me on this when she saw me in it Um, she said that it was really lovely and I said my nana got it me and she was like did you point it out to her and I was like yeah I did <laughs> So those are all of the things that I'm gonna talk you through in this what I got for Christmas video. I really hope that you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Also, just a quick thank you to anyone who has engaged with my channel over the previous year. I really, really appreciate it and I hope that you're gonna enjoy my content just as much in this new year. I'm looking forward to the new year, the content that I'm gonna make and kind of what we're gonna get up to in the new year in the vlogs. I'm looking forward to it all, so I hope you are too. I hope that you had a nice Christmas if you celebrate. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope that you had a nice holiday or even just had a nice weekend if you don't celebrate anything. I also hope that you had a lovely new year. I hope that you had a good time but also stayed safe. I think that's gonna be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you liked it and I shall see you again in my next video. Bye guys!